I'm going to show you how you can use Modbox for the Vive to teach yourself how to juggle. Before you actually begin the game, I highly suggest disabling a feature that's called Allow Reprojection. You go into your settings under Performance and disable Allow Reprojection. Normally it's a great feature that helps smoothing games out and everything, but I found that the physics in Modbox get affected in kind of a strange way. So by disabling it, you're going to get a more reliable and predictable experience in Modbox. Be sure to turn it back on before you play other games. Now Modbox itself is easily one of my favorite top three games for the Vive. It's a physics-based environment where everything is simulated at all times. So it feels great, it has great audio, I like the visual style, and I believe it has a lot of future potential. Now you're probably asking yourself, what benefits could virtual reality offer to juggling that would not be available in the real world? My answer to that is, is a tweakable environment. In this environment you can lower the gravity, you can change the size of things, you can adjust everything that you need to do to meet your level of skill when it comes to juggling. So I'm gonna to switch to a more educational environment. Very nice and clean, pristine environment. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to make yourself a table. So what you wanna do is enable grid snap angle snap and freeze. So with all the snapping you're, it's going to ensure that the table is as flat as possible. So make it about as wide as your arms can reach and put it at about waist height. Now freeze makes it so that when you play everything's being simulated right now that it doesn't just fall to the ground. And notice that we can use virtual reality to step right in the middle of a table. So here's a benefit that you couldn't have predicted before and also as you start throwing things around and dropping them that by having it fall just at waist height helps you get back and be less frustrated and get practicing so you're not running around chasing everything you can just start and stop the simulation over and over again another very important thing are the wrist straps something that's definitely going to happen is when you're very tired from all the VR juggling you've been doing all day you're going to want to set these on the table and then you're gonna let go. And you're probably gonna break your controller, so wrist straps. I'm gonna go ahead and make the actual juggling balls. I prefer using the wood material, go to the sphere, and make these a little bit bigger than the size of your fist. And now you can mouse over clone, one, two, hit the trigger for three. Now I'm going to also color these so that it's easier for you to follow and notice what sort of pattern is developing. So anyone, no matter what skill level of juggling you have, has to learn this important pattern that happens. So if you watch, a little tough to explain, but just watch what happens. First start with one hand, Move it over the middle one, let go, grab the next ball, move it back. Now do that here, switch. You want to be doing this at the same time, the switching, the moving. Now just keep watching this pattern, follow the blue ball. This is the most important first step. This has to become muscle memory. You should be able to do this while talking, while thinking about other things. Just keep this repetition going and start going faster and faster. Soon you won't even think about where your hands are. See how fast you can go. And the great thing is when you mess up in virtual reality, just restart. Listen to the clicking sound. You can see how often I am grabbing and letting go. And so once you have that sort of pattern down, this is another major benefit of virtual reality. 
You're going to go to gravity, put the gravity all the way down to somewhere close to 10. Don't want zero. Try somewhere around 10. Now we're going to start lifting things into the air slightly. So just barely toss it through the same pattern, except for you're lifting slightly off the table now. Let it hit the table. Now here is the magical moment in juggling. Once you get a very natural, consistent feel to that sort of figure eight pattern that's been going on, you'll soon find yourself lifting off into the air. So instead of letting it hit the table, you're gonna catch it and grab the next one. Shorten the amount of time that it takes. And the low gravity makes this especially doable. Now, once you're actually in the air, you're gonna find that you're doing less flinging upwards and more swooping underneath and tossing straight up. And before you know it, you'll be juggling in VR in low gravity. Now, juggling is all about muscle memory, repetition. Like I said, you should be able to do this while thinking about other things while talking, just keep doing it until it becomes second nature. Now I am a big proponent of the possibility of learning in a virtual reality. You're using your real hands here, you're using your real arms, the real movements, your actual body. This is definitely a skill that will translate into the real world. Now, as you get really comfortable with this pattern, you can go back, go into gravity, raise the gravity a little bit. It thinks a little more difficult for you. Remember, you can always restart. You won't even need the table anymore. And you always want to kind of be flinging it a little bit towards yourself. A very common thing when you're new to juggling to happen is you toss it too far out. So you find yourself being like, whoa, and falling forward. But you want to kind of fling it a little bit at yourself. And try juggling really high in the air. Really close to the ground. Thank you for watching my video on how to juggle in virtual reality with enough repetition, practice, strengthening of muscle memory. You may soon be able to juggle in real life. Happy juggling!